Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts. And the majority of people on YouTube looking for relationship or dating advice do not want it. They want to affirm themselves with absolute garbage. So my algorithm, my whole YouTube channel is about love, trust, and fidelity because, you know, I've been married for 24 years with my husband, together for close to 28. And <laughs> we used to even help out with marriage prep in um, my parish down the street. Um, years ago. We were actually kind of newlyweds at the time. But the priest said to us, to all the couples who were speaking, because you would have different couples at different points in their lives, like newlyweds, get parents with young children, retired, and so on. And he, when he was advising us to speak to the engaged couples, he was like, never tell another couple what they should be doing. All you can do is share your experience and love and how you overcame obstacles. And the whole format here on YouTube is basically doing the exact opposite. So when I tr like trash on certain large social media accounts on common sense dating advice, and it's not, basically, as I said in that previous video, you need to live out your life with virtues. You may not get a girlfriend, you may not get a wife, but you're living as a decent human being. And people like decent human beings. You know, and you're like, look out for all these red flags. Like, if you have virtues, you don't have to be worrying about red flags all the time because they would sort of sort itself out. And I can only say this because I'm happily married. Like, the people who are actually happy and in love can't get a break on YouTube. I mean, I'm not the best social media commentator. I don't have flash. I'm not the best speaker with a heavy Boston accent. But, you know, you want the divorce lawyers. You want the over-speaking, the commentary of, like, all these sad, trashy, sad tales from Reddit. It is, we are pure garbage when it comes to love as a society here in America. Because if somebody does offer you the loving, happy story, somebody offers you the love and happy story, well, at least a decent, likable story. You won't accept it. You want your trash. You want your garbage. And if that's what you're looking at, that's what you're going to get in your relationships. If you listen to all that trashy gar garbage relationship advice, even they say it's common sense. It's not common sense, guys. Because it's the exact opposite of the way we learn. We learn love through virtues. We learn love from seeing other people love one another. And if all you're being fed into your YouTube algorithm is, oh my God, this is a red flag or what have you. The only way you can learn love is from other people within your lives. It's unfortunate a lot of people did not have their parents love one another. But maybe you had an uncle or a grandparent or even neighbors or anybody with virtues. Loving one another. Caring for one another. Caring for one another. You know, you know, like I was being mocked, like, you just joke because there's no such thing as wifey material, guys. There's no such thing as wifey material. Yeah, I'm a wife, and I'm a mother of four kids. But I'm not wifey material. I'm a whole person, for crying out loud. And it's really disgusting when another woman talks and profits off that type of language. It's bad advice. It's disgusting. And I can say that as somebody who's been married for 24 years, together with the same man since she was 19 years of age, I would not let my husband speak or think of me like that. And I don't think of him like that either. Anyway, I'm really frustrated. I'm too nice. I'm too kind for YouTube. Um, I can make another crappy algorithm story. I love you all.